Hello, and welcome to a new series that I'm going to be putting together. Um, I'm calling it Babby's First Bot, and what I'm going to do is basically run anyone who's not familiar with the game already through the the process of beating one of the earlier campaign chapters. Uh, basically, it's going to cover all the, the things you need to know to get started with making a bot, in case the whole game is a little too overwhelming. But it uh, might also, even if you've played the game quite a bit, you might get some insight into some ideas and some thought processes that you might not be doing yourself and you might like, maybe you don't. But first off, we're going to start with Elimination. Elimination is the most straightforward of all the game modes. It's also the most popular. So we're going we're gonna to start with that. And first, we're going to see what Elimination looks like, right? So first off, you can see we have eight blue bots. There are eight red bots. Or our bots are white, but their health bars and their names are blue. And if we play the game, we can see right off the bat that the enemy, uh, some of their bots are a little slow to do anything but they are working on it and other bots are approaching ours uh, their bots are shooting our bots are taking damage you can see the health bars and shields gradually decreasing as they get shot and now the bots are dying you can see that the enemy is scoring points so that's what we need to keep in mind we need to move to the enemy we need to shoot the enemy and we need to prevent ourselves from dying so let's get started doing that so first up what we're going to do, uh, what I'm going to do though is cover some of the basic tags, or some of the basic nodes. Uh, I'm going to start off by dropping these connectors here. Now connectors can do, by themselves they don't do anything. You can use them for flow control, for your, your profiles and stuff like that, but that's a little outside the scope of this video. What we're going to be using it for is basically organization. Um, each of these connectors kind of represents an idea. And we're, we're kind of going into modular design a little bit by using the connectors to create modules, and then we can disconnect and move them around however we see fit. But again, that's probably a little outside the scope of this video. But let's get started. We're going to need a move command, right? Because if the enemy is too far away, we can't shoot them. So we need to move to the enemy, right? And real straightforward, we're not going to be doing anything tricky just yet. But, uh, so we're going to move to the enemy. We need to be able to attack the enemy. And one thing I will throw in here, you cannot shoot targets that are out of range. So what we're going to do is click the X here, and you can see attack enemy bot that's not out of range, and attack the closest one to me. Now the retreat is the, the third part we'll be putting together. And basically, we need to have the bot have conditions under which it runs away from the enemy so that it doesn't die. So we're, we're going to start off real simple, and you can do this a lot of different ways, but what I'm going to use is if myself has shields in any of these three categories, um, and you have to click all three, otherwise it won't work quite right, because if you have, say, turn off the 0%, and you do go to 0%, this will no longer be considered true, so you have to include that. So that's, if myself is at 0 to 50% shields, then what I want to do is run away from the enemy. Nice and simple. So now let's go see how that does. Uh, another thing that we're doing, uh, we're using all assault bots because they're more consistent and straightforward than any other bot, and they're also the only one you can have an entire team of. But let's see how that goes. And the first problem we can see is that our bots are splitting up. Um, what that's going to do is it's going to kind of isolate some of our bots, and it's going to allow the enemy to focus fire more effectively while we don't get to return the favor. Uh, generally speaking, you want to bring as many bots as you can to attack the enemy, while also minimizing how effectively they can attack you. So there's a bunch of different ways we can solve this problem and a lot of them have different names, but for starters, uh, what I want to do is one that I haven't really experimented much with, and that is here, I want to move to an enemy bot, right? And there are filters we can select as well. So we're gonna look at the current actions of our allies and use approached by an ally. And you can click through all of these in your own time. Um, 
I'm just trying to get through this somewhat quickly to show the idea behind it. So one thing I forgot to cover is execution order. Now the game executes radially along these lines uh, going counterclockwise, but we're organizing it in here so that basically it goes left to right and top to bottom. So our retreat has the highest priority. Our retreat overrides everything else. Then our attack, if the enemy's in range, then our then we'll move to an enemy that's approached by an ally. And then if there are no enemies approached by an ally, we'll just move toward the closest enemy. Pretty simple. And what that'll do is, as we look at it here, you can see that all of our bots are now moving toward this one unfortunate bot. Uh, another thing to consider um, is, you, know, you see how these guys are getting cut off. There's not really too much we can do about that just yet, but uh, there are solutions to that problem, just not one that we can readily integrate, not in a, in a few nodes. But our bots are uh, holding up better, but we're seeing, first off, there's a, uh, let me zoom in on this. So if we watch this bot here and watch what it's doing, it'll retreat and it'll bounce its retreat back and forth between multiple bots. That's not ideal and it's causing him to get shot by the sniper way more than he needs to and that got him killed. So let's improve our retreat, shall we? So one of the things that veterans do a lot is we, we don't necessarily use closest. We use this one here, all. Uh, every one of them except all will select one enemy bot or one filtered target um, and use that as its reference. All will use all possible results. But we also are going to add another thing because we don't need to look at all enemy bots. We only need to care about the ones that are attacking us currently. So if we, instead of fleeing from the closest enemy bot, which could be any bot, we're going to flee from all enemy bots that are attacking us. And let's see how that goes. In the beginning, you'll probably still see that they all coalesce on this one guy here. But we're going to see some different behavior once the fighting starts. See, this uh, this cluster up in the top left here, I call an L-shaped pinch. And L-shaped pinches can be notoriously difficult. And now, I want to rewind that. So we told it to flee from all bots attacking us. So watch this bot here. In the, in the front on the bottom row here. You'll notice it takes a good bit of damage from this shotgun. And its shields go down, it starts to retreat, but then the shotgun retreats, and no other bots are attacking it, so it stays to continue fighting. And generally speaking, you want your bots to be able to inflict as much damage as possible without putting them in needlessly risky situations. And already you can see we're holding up a lot better. Our health is generally higher, uh, our enemy's health is worse, and it actually looks like this is going to be enough to beat this stage. We've got two enemy bots down, and now one of the things about elimination is if you start securing kills on the enemy, unless they retaliate with kills of their own very quickly, the advantage just becomes further and further in your favor. So now you can see they've lost half of their team. They still have so several bots alive, but we still have our whole team alive, and that's going to give us a pretty significant advantage going forward as yet another one of their bots dies, and we still have three and a half minutes on the clock. So this is actually going rather well for us. And now you can see our bots are chasing the enemy, causing harm and scaring the enemy, which that's good for us. Now they're gonna single out this last guy and he's almost dead and so that's going to be stage one of chapter two for elimination and that's all we really had to do
make our bots move together and improve their retreat so that they uh, more effectively escape the enemies that were attacking them. So uh, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed and join me for the next one.